Hey everybody, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts, coming at you once again with a tutorial. This time, we're not going to be using SketchUp, or Photoshop, or anything like that. We're just going to be using MCX, or Model Converter X, by the fantastic Arno from FS Developer. Um, Model Converter X is a fantastic tool. Most of my videos, in fact I'm pretty sure all of my videos to do with scenery design have have used it in some way shape or form. Um, yeah, so today what I'm going to be showing you is how to attach effects to buildings or models as it were. Um, I'm going to be using lights for this particular one. I'm just going to be putting a little a little white light at the front there. Yep, just just there. And um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. I don't care if updates are available. Why would I care? And I'm just going to be showing you how to do that. Um, so let's just jump straight in. These two boxes here, we're going to need them both to be um, clicked, so like that. If they don't look like that, make sure they look like that, because if they don't look like that, it's not going to work properly. Um, well, you don't necessarily need this this one here, but it, it helps, it really does. So yeah, we're just going to be putting a, a little white light right here. Now, like I said, I'm going to be using effects, not BGL lights. So, let's just jump straight in. Let's click on Attach Object Editor. It's right there. Click Add. Let's go for Effect. Okay, you see this little thing that's appeared down here? That's your attach point. Let's go find an effect. Uh, beacon White High? Maybe? That's probably pretty big. Um, we'll find one soon. We will. Lightning. You know what? Never mind. We'll go for something red. But yeah, you can use any effect you like, really. Oh, there's a red light right there. Um, don't worry that you can see it through the walls. That's just a Model Converter X thing. In FSX, you won't better see it through the walls. Alright, because we can see that better at night, we're going to go ahead and turn on the night mode. And from there, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this point up right into the center here. Good thing is it's already in the center, so all we've got to do is raise it up nice and high. I'm not too sure exactly how high this hanger is, so let's just go for 12. That's not high enough. Let's go for 15, maybe? Try that. Ooh, that's a bit higher. Still not quite there, though. Still a bit bit under. Let's try 16. Maybe, maybe that. That's a bit too high. So, it's 15.5. What happened? Oh, right. <laughs> that makes sense. There we go. 15.5. That's just above the top mark, so let's 15.45. That's a bit lower, perfect, alright. So now what we want to do is we want to bring this right to the front. And we do that by using this one here. See, they're all in freeze. Oops, they're all in freeze, like that. So... This is the trial and error part, so let's just type in 10. Okay, that's moved the wrong way, so it's going to be minus. Let's try minus 20. Not far enough. 25. 26. Yeah, that's a bit too far. But that's alright, because we can always mend that. So it's 25.5. I've done it again, haven't I? <laughs> yep. There we go. 25.5. Maybe down a touch. 25.4. Okay, now we can come down a bit. 15.0. Popping it right on the front. Now, hangers in general wouldn't have obstruction lights. <laughs> well, well, they might. If there was, like, a weird shape, perhaps. But in general, they wouldn't have. Um... Now we've got that in place, we can turn this off to see how it would look. Yeah, that looks alright. Might want to bring it down and 
maybe underneath perhaps? I don't know, it's totally up to you. It's now going to be something for you to decide. But remember, like I said, you won't be able to see it through the walls in Flight Sim. So don't worry about that. Hmm, interesting. The windows cut it out. Sort of. You can also give your effects some parameters. So if you look down here, you can see all of these parameters. What I normally do with this, I just set for day and night. So I use these buttons here. Fantastic. Preset day, night. Preset dusk and dawn. So day, it's off. Zero. I'm pretty sure of zero being the value of off. And it's on at night, it's on at dusk, it's on during the dawn. So yeah, update. Close. So there we are. That's how you do that. And then once you've done that, it's a simple technique of making sure you've got the textures all saved and ready to rumble, and export your object as you normally would. All your attach points stay in place, and then you can turn it into a library object, place it in Flight Sim, and enjoy your attached objects. Um, I've used attach points before now uh, for things like steam coming out the top of buildings, uh, smoke for smoke sacks and things like that. I've also used um, like the campfire one. But I scaled the effect up remarkably, so the smoke from that would, yeah, it was weird. I did, I, I made a mistake there. Don't do that. Don't make mistakes. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Now this particular hanger I am not using, so if you want it, drop me a line. I'll give it to you. I say that about a lot of my models, don't I? Anyway, yeah, this hanger I'm not using. If you want it, just just ask. <laughs> just ask me. I'll put the links for. Um, the asking of me below. I'll put the link to my Facebook. Not my personal Facebook, Sawfly's Facebook. Yeah, I'll put the link to Sawfly's Facebook. If you want it, just drop us a message. We'll also, um, also put the link to our website, contact page, so if you don't have Facebook, you can still get in touch. Anyway, like I said, if you want this hanger, drop us a line. Links will be below. Um, I'm also going to put up a link in the description for... Uh, this little technique here called auto platform. It's fantastically simple. Um, Arno himself did that one, I think, from FS Developer. So yeah, auto platform. Perfect. I'll put the link down there for that. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to know anything else tutorial-wise, just by all means ask and I'll see if I can do one. I'm running out of ideas for tutorials now. As you can see, I'm doing little things like attach points. So yeah, I'm open for ideas on tutorials. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. I think I've already said that. Thanks for watching. I've said it three times now. Thanks for watching, four times. And um, when I'm Mark from Soulfly Concepts. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, well, I'll catch you later. Yeah, later sounds good. Later is good.